boring, isn't it? Hello and welcome to Flutats. In this video, we'll be talking about skew. If you've been using After Effects for some time and you are part of the motion design community, you know that we've been complaining about After Effects user experience for so long and getting nothing in return. But today there is a savior, and the savior is Good Boy Ninja. And as a part of the change, this guy went and developed a new tool and called it Skew. This tool looks exactly like the timeline you have in After Effects, but instead of simple timeline, this tool comes with more features, and that's what we're looking for in this video. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So once you downloaded SKU and install it, go ahead to Window, Extensions, and you'll find SKU right here. Click on it and you'll be presented by this window that looks exactly like your classic timeline in After Effects, but with more options that we're gonna discover later on in the video. So here, by selecting your layers, just click on the empty space right here and drag to select the amount of layers that you want. Then you're gonna be presented by this little pop-up right here that we're gonna discover uh, later on. And there is also a secret menu that you can access from more right here to set colors and other options, or you can just select your layers and right click to access the secret menu and there is also the main menu right here that you can change from here the frames on your timeline or the seconds i usually use seconds and you can also change the snapping options and the grid layers i prefer to keep them as they are now let's talk about selecting skewing and scaling to select your layers go to the empty space right here and click and drag on your layers and there you have your selected layers or you can simply click control and select layers separately as you like and for skewing select your layers and go to the top right here and you can see that your cursor changed from the hand to this icon like this then you can just click and drag to the bottom or the middle like so and then you can see that the animation changes and for the scaling, you can see the box appears after skewing. And you can just click on the box from the right or the left and you can scale like so. And make sure you don't go beyond your timeline. This zero is where your animation starts, so keep this right here. Now let's go ahead and talk about advanced skewing. So following what we've learned previously, Let's go ahead and select our layers and we're gonna perform a skewing like this. And now we have a pop-up that shows up in the bottom. This pop-up allows you to manipulate your changes using a curve editor in three different ways. And the first way is to drag the blue handles like this, as you can see, and it's live update on the top and the second way is to use one of the provided presets over here and the third way is using your mouse wheel on top of this box right here and it you can manipulate the changes as you like and if you find yourself limited with the small box you can hit control and you can change the handles outside of the box like so So let's talk about the liquify tool. The liquify tool allows you to softly adjust multiple elements or layers at once with a falloff radius. As you can see here, once we select our liquify tool, we can easily drag from the left or the right to adjust the skewing. And to adjust the brush, you can hit control and you can use your mouse wheel up or down to adjust the size of the brush. Or you can also click Ctrl and Shift to adjust the brush softness, like so. And you can also, to make the brush more powerful, you can hit Shift and you can drag to make the layers move fast, like this. And you can also adjust the in and out points by changing the mode from layers to in and out over here. And you can adjust the in and out points like you do on your timeline by hitting on the edge like this. So now let's talk about modes. So in SKU we have two modes, the layers modes and in and out points mode. 
So as you know in your timeline, when you select a layer or composition, you can adjust the in and out points by dragging at the end right here, or then the start to adjust the start point. You can do the same thing using the skew tool by selecting your layers or end points, sorry, and you can drag them or also use the school features by dragging from the top. Let's do the same thing for starting points. And the best part about this uh, feature that it allows all skew features to apply on the end and out points only. So let's say if I want all these points to be reversed, I'm gonna select them all and click on flip and they were gonna be flipping. And you can do this on the classic timeline. You can also rotate them. You can also go ahead and scale them. You can align them. So now let's talk about the move randomly tool. So we have this animation over here and all these animations are popping up at the same time and I want them to pop up at separate times randomly. So the classic way to do that, we have to move each layer separately to change the order, but that takes time. So using skew, you can just select all your layers and from this flurry pop up right here, you can click on move randomly icon right here and then just shift your mouse left to right to change the order. And you can also use the scroll wheel to change the random seed to test out different random patterns. Let's say I'm fine with this one. Then I'm gonna drag my layers to the zero. And then I have all the animations pop up at different times. Now let's talk about align and rotation. Select all your layers. And from the flow reaper up, you can see align to left, align to right, and you can also align in the center. And by clicking A, it reveals another option, which is align to current time. So if you have your timeline cursor right here, you can click A and align to current time. And all your layers will jump to that point of time. And for rotation, you can select all your layers. And from here, you find rotation. Click on it and you can swipe your mouse to rotate your layers. You can do the same thing by clicking on the R for shortcut and do the same thing. So for flip horizontally, this one doesn't flip your layer, but instead it flips the order of your layers. As you can see here, as an example, I have this animation goes from the top left to the bottom right. And I want this instead to go from the bottom right to the top left. So what I do then, I select all layers and click on flip right here. And this will flip the order. Another shortcut to that is selecting all your layers and click simply F. And that will flip the order of your layers. Now let's talk about setting label colors and randomization. Just make a selection of layers, right click and from this menu you can select any color. And you can also do the same thing for all your layers, just select them all, right click and from the same menu you can choose any color you want. And to randomize the label colors for each layer, you can just select them all and from the same menu you can click on this button right here that says random. And if you keep clicking it, it's going to be changing the random seed of label colors. Now talking about selecting similar and select every. So in SKU, if you want to select a bunch of layers that have the same color, you can simply click on one and right click and select similar. And that will select another layer or layers that have the same color as the one selected and you can also select by using group labels let's say i want to select the purple and the green i'm going to select purple and green then i'm going to right click and click on this button here that says select using label color and that will have the pop-up on down here and i can select all greens and purples if i want to change my mind i can also deselect the purple and select the blue in here i don't have too many blues so I can change yellow and it will select all yellows and for select every 
This will select every other layer. So if I choose the first one and right click and click on select every, it's gonna select every other layer. And I can change the gap in between the selection of layers by changing the index right here from two to any number I want. Let's say three or four, it's gonna leave three in between. So it's gonna select every fourth layer. And if I change the shift, this will shift the selection. Now let's talk about traditional sequencing. So to sequence layers in After Effects, simply select all your layers, go to Animation, Keyframe Assistant, and click on Sequence Layers. And from this window right here, you click OK, and then you have all your layers sequenced in your timeline. But these options lack the real-time preview and also there is no more options. You're just left with this result. Now let's do the same thing but using Skew. Select all your layers, go to Skew, get to more and from the secret menu just select sequence this will do the same thing after effects does but here we have a window over here that gives us two more options the first one is sequence with percent right here and this will introduce gaps in between layers or it keeps layers close to each other like so and there is also an option here that to reverse the selected sequence and once we click it, it will reverse the sequence layers. Let's talk about removing gaps in between layers or compositions. So as an example, I have all these layers right here and there is a gap between each of them. And to fix that, you have to drag each layer, clicking on shift to snap this layer to the end. But that takes too much time if you have too many layers. But in skew, simply select all of our layers and from the secret menu right here, just click remove gaps and this will get rid of any gap in between layers. Locking a comp. So this can be used as a secondary timeline. So let's say I go inside one of my comps right here. When I go to skew right here, in top you can see the lock option right here. When I click on it, if I go to my main composition, the skew will not load my main composition because skew now is going to be focusing on the layers inside of the composition that we just opened previously. So now I can be focusing on my main composition and make any adjustment or changes to the inside of the composition without going there. So this, as I said, can be used as a secondary timeline. Let's talk about fit layers to view. So in After Effects, let's say as an example here, I have 69 layers. So if I wanna grab a layer or composition, I have to scroll down, or maybe sometimes I have to double click on the composition for full screen, then I grab my layer. But in Skew, there is an easier way to do that. Just go to Skew and click on this icon here that says vertically fit layers to view and this will fit all your layers in view. And then you can manage your layers or do whatever you want. Let's talk about soloing layers in After Effects. So to solo layers in After Effects, you can select your layers and click on this icon right here that says solo. But this will only solo your layers in the preview and not in the timeline. And to solo them in the timeline, you have to right click invert selection and you hide all the other layers by clicking on the shy button right here and also click on the shy button above right here and this will solo your layers but this is so many steps if you have so many layers and you have a tight timeline to work with but in skew you can select the layers that you want to solo and simply click on the solo here that says focus selection items and now the preview only shows the layers that you soloed and also gives you how the amount of layers that you are soloing and the best part about this is that any effects that you use on these layers only affects these and it doesn't affect the other layers that are hidden. Snapping elements and snapping to time. So in After Effects, in order to snap to elements, you can just select your layer and by holding on shift, you can drag and it's gonna be snapping to wherever layers is close to it. In SKU, you can do the same thing, but instead you don't have to hold any key. So you just drag and it's gonna snap to your layer. 
And SKU also have another option where you can snap to time. So let me first delete all these layers. And as you can see when I drag, you see the seconds above appears and that's snapping to seconds. And that's it for this video. If you wanna download SKU, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment what you think about this. And as always, find what makes you happy and make that your life. Peace.